I'm Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV. This is Brief 469. I'm at the Leadership Symposium on Digital Media and Healthcare, hosted by USF Health in conjunction with Apple. I'm speaking to a wonderful audience. Guys, give a shout out. I'm speaking to them about how some innovators are using new media to spread good ideas. Since this symposium has a medical focus, I thought it'd be a good idea to do a medical brief. Let's start with a story about the eye pill. On Geek Brief, most products developed by Philips are intended to end up in our living rooms. The eye pill is intended to end up in our bodies. An eye pill is about the size of a multivitamin and it contains a microprocessor, a battery, a wireless radio, a tiny little pump, and a drug reservoir. Some medications, I guess, are effective for treating disorders, but in order to deliver enough of the medicine to the appropriate place in the body, dosage has to be higher than it could be, and the higher dosage comes with side effects. The eye pill delivers data to a physician that will indicate where the pill is located. When it's in the best place, the drug can be released. That means the dosage can be lower and the side effects can be minimized. The eye pill will also deliver chemical and temperature data to the physician administering the treatments. Paul Wessel is a dad. He has a nine-year-old son with diabetes. His son kept losing track of his glucose monitor, but not his Nintendo Game Boy, so Paul Wessel went to work developing a video game called Gluco Boy. It's compatible with either a Game Boy Advance or a DS Lite, and it encourages kids to stay on top of their testing by awarding points and unlocking games based on how well the kid does. The kid gets extra points when his or her blood sugar falls within a healthy range. There's also an online community called Grip, where scores can be posted and compared. Gluco Boy includes two full-length games and a mini arcade with three additional games. It's currently only available in Australia. You can find out more information at glucoboy.com. Dr. Jay Parkinson is a Mac user, so it's not surprising when he finished his residency, he thought different about what a medical practice could be. He uses a webcam to make virtual house calls. A visit with Dr. Parkinson begins with a check of his calendar. He uses Google Calendar and his schedule is public. When you see an open slot that works for you, you text him to make the appointment. Personal information about your health situation is submitted to the doc online prior to the visit, and then the virtual visit is about 30 minutes. Just like in the good old days when house calls were common, Dr. Parkinson doesn't take insurance. He just charges a reasonable rate, and by skipping all the cumbersome paperwork, he's able to work without a staff and keep his overhead extremely low. Here in Florida this December, at the 26th Annual Army Science Conference, a group of military researchers will announce something truly miraculous. Scientists have been able to successfully regrow lost limbs and damaged organs using nano scaffolding. By placing a nano scaffold made of polymer fibers hundreds of times finer than a human hair in place of a missing limb or damaged organ, cells start to grow through and around the holes in the scaffold. When the limb or organ has successfully regenerated, the polymer fibers are absorbed by tissue and disappear. The researchers were able to regrow a lost fingertip, including the bone, skin, and fingernail, in addition to several internal organs. The process does not work on complex organs like the heart, but it does work on livers, so I have several friends who are very, very happy to hear this news. <laughs> That's it. This episode is brought to you by the HP Media Smart Server. It's a great way to keep all your family's media in one place that's accessible from every computer on your home network. I'm Callie Lewis. Thanks for watching. Thanks to you guys for having me here today. And thanks for my two volunteers from the audience who are running the camera and the teleprompter. Bye. <laughs>